Hey, this is Dan DeLuca, and it's part three of the uh, Rejuvenate Your Business and Quarterly Review kind of uh, extravaganza here. So, this uh, next bit of this is, uh, and this is all, uh, there's, you should check out part one and part two because they're really good and they really prepare you for this next part. The next part is maybe the most difficult part, or it might be the easiest part, or you might not even want to do this part. Anyway, what I've got written down here is to spruce up your blog. Do you have a blog? Hey, hi. Yeah, so look, if you got a blog, take a look at it. Is it how's it look? How do the pictures look? Are the pictures old or new? How about your bio? Update your bio. Make something up. Like reevaluate. You've been reevaluating now. So do you want to reevaluate your bio, like your USP? Like why should people talk to you? And, you know, look at the header. Look at all that update. Make sure all the links are working, all that kind of stuff, right? Update your photos. So check out your blog. Clean it up. Spruce it up. Freshen it up. Organize your business. Okay, so we are in business, right? So start running it like a business if you're not already. If you are, congratulations. If you have an LLC, congratulations. If you're making money and you don't have an LLC, um, this isn't legal advice. I highly advise you, but not as legal advice, to look into incorporating as a limited liability corporation. It doesn't cost a lot of money and it can help protect you. And even if you're just doing an MLM, uh, you can run those inside of an LLC, and there's certain tax benefits which I'm totally not qualified to tell you about. However, they are there; they do exist. I highly recommend you take a look in and look into that. And when you do that, one thing I know that you can do, pretty I'm pretty sure, maybe not in your state, but in my state, is you could create a bank account uh, for the LLC, and then have all your expenses run through that. It makes things a little bit easier, especially if you're making money. If you're not making money, it's not quite so important. But, you know, you want to keep it in the back of your mind, the back of your mind that when you start making money, you're going to you're going to have uh, like a limited liability corporation or whatever works for you and your circumstance. And you really need to talk to a professional uh, a tax advisor or an accountant, attorney and all that good stuff. I'm just talking here. So organize your records, okay? Like right now, and it turns out I'm just start. I'm doing my taxes right now. It's kind of getting close to tax time, and um, so get yourself organized. Put your paperwork, organize all those papers. Um, review your budget if you have a budget. If you don't have a budget, consider putting a, putting a budget together and just look at what you're spending your money on and where you're spending your money. And let's see, review your income and expenses and your cash flow. Take a look at that. You should do that at least once a quarter. And again, if you're not making money, you might you might think, I don't really want to look at, look at that too hard, but actually get the what's so about what's going on and um, get real with things. Okay, you want to uh, you want to basically be treating your business like a business. So now it's time to start doing that. Okay, um, next next little tidbit. Clean up your workspace. Now, I did mention this in part two, but I'm going to mention it again in part three. Clean up your whole workspace, like everywhere you work. Clean it up. Maybe reorganize it. Move things around. If you know anybody that does feng shui, you might want to have them look at your space and maybe organize things according to that if that's your, your shtick. Um, plant some new seeds for this upcoming quarter. So we've reflected on the, the previous quarter, and we've written down some goals that we have for this quarter, maybe adjusted some goals for the year. So start planting those seeds, and that is probably going to be something like upping the level of your prospecting. So I say um, increase the number of people you contact by 10 people a day. So if you're talking to five people a day, get it up to 15 a day. If you're talking to 10 a day, get it up to 20 a day. If you're talking to 50 people a day, then you probably don't need to do that anymore. But it, do it any higher. However, are you talking to 50 quality prospects? Because if you're, if you're really talking to 50 people a day, first of all, your throat's probably sore a lot. and You should invest in uh, throat lozenges. But if you're, if, if you're like doing 5, 10, 15 or less, a day that your people that you're actually talking to and or conversing with or having a dialogue with in some way, bump it up by 10 and um, keep adding value. OK, make yourself uh, a challenge to uh, continue to add content, 
continue to call your leads, ask them, what do you need? How can I help you? Send an email to your list. Um, bump it up to daily or six times a week. Be the being of a top earner. So over the last three videos, I've talked about a bunch of stuff that you can do to kind of reinvigorate your whole business, to reevaluate your business on a quarterly basis or whatever period of time you want to do. And um, what would be really great, I would really love your feedback if you would let me know what you think. So send me a note at dandeluca.com slash contact. There's a way to get me there. And get yourself signed up to my newsletter, which is dandeluca.com slash newsletter. Yeah, and those links will be in the uh, somewhere in this post. So I look forward to hearing from you. Good luck with the next quarter, and I'll see you at the top.